second chapter of the book of Acts, you find that about 3,000 people obeyed the gospel of our Lord. You will find, my friend, that the Lord added the saved ones to the church, according to Acts 2 and verse 47. It is our plea in churches of Christ, faithful churches of Christ, that all of the denominational world would abandon denominationalism, and then they would simply become members of the Lord's church, the one that you read about in the Bible. We're not asking any of you or anyone to become a member of the Church of Christ denomination. Oh, no. We're asking you to become a member of the church that you read about in the Bible, the Lord's church, the Church of Christ. It is distinctive. It is the only one you will find in Scripture. My friend, if you're not a Christian, according to the teaching of Scripture, you're lost in sin. But the wonderful thing is, this very night, you can have all of your sins washed away in the blood of Christ. You can come forth and you test them a Christian. And so, as Ananias asked Saul of Tarsus, why do you turn? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord, not just for baptism only, oh no. But because your faith in Christ and God, your willingness to repent of your sins, Luke 13 and 3, your willing to confess Christ to be the Son of God, according to Matthew 10, 32, and you're certainly willing to be immersed in water in order to receive the remission of your sin. Acts 2.38.